right so bringing you a celebrity and a youtuber's gist yes today we are going to be discussing you Doce, the nollywood actor and lily pope <laughs> look jesus christ weird reasoning strange things are happening come on in entertainment daily lovers and let us dissect and analyze together look both of these gists are hard so you need to just sit put grab your popcorn <laughs> end of year bass boost this is what i call this well in fact i don't even know where we're going to start from but let's start from lily pope uh the youtuber and then we're going to round up with you at dolce's recent drama that is getting everyone confused but before we get right into all of this hot gist please do not forget to subscribe if you love celebrity gist and if you are enjoying it share it with someone that also loves celebrity gist youtubers gist and name it all right so lily pope did a video recently where she said every year there's something her mom taught them uh, that they should always clear everything and leave everything behind when they're moving on to the new year. So this is something that she has always practiced by it, she knows that she has offended people, people have offended her and so much is happening that towards the end of the year she loves to settle all of those beef or and make sure that she's in good place with everybody uh she apologizes to people she needs to apologize to and even people that don't get to apologize to her she lets everything go and just go into the new year with a clean slate so that's what she said she was doing on this video so she made reference to so many other things and she also talked about reactors <laughs> Lily, you and reactors on that drama did they finish? Um, first of all, Lily also is a reactor, so herself. So I don't even understand why she feels this way. Anyway, talking about reactors, Lily Pope said that she used to not like them at all. That uh, she used to feel like as a content creator, if she would ever meet any of these reactors, she would never speak to them. She would never say hello or anything. She's just going to walk by. But then she looked at how celebrities are being talked about and she understood that, well, as a content creator, she too, she's a kind of celebrity. So of course, people will talk about her, but she just does not understand why reactors are doing what they're doing, that they don't understand what they are doing. In Lily's in Lily's opinion, reactors are nuisance. Lily, let me quickly trash this out to you. Look, if someone, if there is an action, there is going to be a reaction. You decided to be a content creator. The, the, the more you grow, the more people will talk about you. So it is normal. The same way people talk about celebrities and all of that. But if a reactor is reacting and taking it too personal, it is in your place to correct that person or point it out and like, look, you can react to whatever I do, but you're taking it too personal and point it out. But for you to feel like they don't even know what they're doing, but someday they're going to, they're going to learn, they're going to understand. I feel like like you lost me there because it is it, it is a job you're creating content they are creating content the only difference if you want to react on them you can also do so by calling them out on their bs if they do you know something like that so i was like mm. another thing that lily pope added was that uh she doesn't call her gifters she doesn't talk to them so she doesn't know if some gifters want to be like friends and all of that but no matter how much gifters call her she never calls lily that is weird and you talked about how you were on the phone with another content creator look lily not everybody you will listen to and not everybody you will take advice from now well i'm not saying any person advised you but that person is dead wrong and you should know that if someone gifts you you should be appreciative and one of one of the ways to appreciate is calling not every gifter will feel like oh because you call to check up on them that you are calling to ask for more and another thing the, the way in which you call these people or sometimes you, it doesn't even need to be a call sometimes you could do a text message you could do a voice note asking the person how are you how is family how is everybody just wanted to check on you making sure everybody's doing well um doing well with my family they will understand a reasonable gift that will understand that you're just checking up on them because they have been nice to you and you are returning that the same favor being nice polite kind and name it so that person that you follow the person example did not do a smart one at all it is rude and very wrong for you to just silent or ghost people that are good to you and people that gift you so lily that is something you need to change and know that you were dead wrong and you should look for a way to reach out to all your gifters if you still remember them if you still have their contact and apologize to them and let them know that you had this wrong way of thinking 
that's why you were doing what you were doing anyways enough for lily pop let's dive right into you let doche yes so you let doche posted something recently you know this is toward the end of the year and everybody's coming in with what they feel about the year and all of that and this is what you posted let's get right into rest let's read it and then we will drop our two cents okay so you Doche took to his social media and this is what he posted he said 2023 has been the best year so far thank you lord for your blessings and all i can't even thank god enough 2024 will be outstanding 2023 will be a child's play compared to the blessings that will follow me in 2024 and for that i say thank you lord may your name be praised forever amen 2024 we go harder you a dolce now this would have been a beautiful post if not that you le doce did not pick his words carefully when he was writing this that first line alone just messed up the whole thing it is good to be grateful because being alive alone is a lot okay being alive being healthy going out and coming in having food on your table is a blessing and it's enough to thank god but you saying 2023 has been the best year so far in his life is very weird and i and and for me, the reason why I feel this is weird, even if we have to set aside the saga going on between him and his first wife, Mia Edoche, how he got second, we will get to all of that. But let's start with the fact that Yul Edoche lost his son that is about, I don't know, 16, 15, 16 years old, 15, 16, 17, I, I'm not sure exactly, but one of these three. That's a grown boy, Kambili, I think that was his name. And we all saw how people were touched. We all saw how those of us that didn't even know the boy, we've never seen him, we've never met him, we're not related to them. Some of us are not even from the same state, we're not the same tribe, nothing. But we all felt the pain that a child was, you know, you know, was taken untimely. He wasn't that sick. They said he was playing football, collapsed, you know, said he wanted to rest, rushed to the hospital. And this boy did not make it back home. Your children lost a brother. The pain is still there. They still can't process it. They still don't understand why Campbell is not coming back home. Why Campbell is not in his room. Every time they walk into his room, every time they see something that belongs to him, every time they see a photo of him. So for you to come out and start a write-up saying that 2023 is your best year so far goes to show that you are insensitive you might think that in all of this you're trying to pepper your first wife you're trying maybe that lady has been terrible to you in you because that's 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 what you ledoche is presenting that may was a bad wife she was a bad woman they were not compatible maybe they she was even forced on him no matter what you shouldn't write something like this saying that 2023 is your best year now a lot of people out there although you keep saying people don't know the real story people don't know the real story well you're not really telling the real story but what people saw online it looked like may your first wife was caught off guard when you had a child out of wedlock and then went further to marry that lady even though she said she was not going to be numbered she was not going to do that so it seemed like you didn't even speak to her you didn't do it the right way there are so many things you did wrong in 2023 you and your second wife kept on putting up nonsense type of post outside that looked like you were out there taunting your first wife and so many mistakes you've made that even you if you want to be truthful you will acknowledge that yes here here and there i made mistakes so there is no way a man that lost a young son no father no mother wants to bury their child every prayer of every parent is for their children to be the one to lay them to rest but for you losing your first son that that's your first son the second child you had in this world after Daniela, you because your first child is a girl, Daniela, and your second child is that boy, Campbell. You lost that boy in 2023. How can 2023 be your best year so far? But you being you, you will do everything to chase clouds, just as it is common in the Nollywood industry. A lot of them are doing stuff like this likes of uche Ogbudu with the nonsense post and nonsense idea and talking about that's my opinion and that's exactly what i see you is doing you let Doche notice that people are not talking people are no longer talking about him so much and he wants to do something that will put him back in the lips of everybody so he can really say yes i trended for one full year or more but shame on you man